Travel is usually perceived as being like extremely expensive, but in reality, you can go on a dope trip for the cost of like two outfits at Urban Outfitters. I mean, that stuff's like expensive. But anyways, two days ago, my boy Braden told me that he had a trip planned this week, so he had work off, but that trip got canceled. And so we decided that we'd plan a trip together and just go somewhere ridiculous for no reason, pretty much. One of the ways we were able to get a huge deal on this trip is the fact that my dad's an airline pilot. So flying to New York for us and back is gonna cost a total of $105. Of course, not everybody's dad is an airline pilot. So the truth is this trip is probably cheaper for us than most people, but there are ways to get around expensive plane tickets and find great deals pretty often. But anyways, expect a vlog from New York. But the purpose of this video is to show you guys how we're gonna get by paying just $175 each to stay in New York for three days. And that $175 covers our travel, our food, and our Airbnb. All right, so now I'll show you guys how it's done. First, starting with our Airbnb. So considering we had to book kind of last minute, we didn't get the best deal, but for $37.50 a night, we got basically one room with one bed. It has a kitchen, it has Wi-Fi and everything like that, but I mean, that's honestly all you need when you're traveling. We don't need some bougie hotel, and we're not gonna stay like the Ritz-Carlton or something stupid like that. The real value in travel is the experience you have in the area you're going to. So to me, the hotel really doesn't matter that much. I'll throw in some pictures of the room and the area we're staying in. We are staying in Bushwick, Brooklyn, which is known like historically for crime, but I've looked it up and it seems relatively safe. And the house we're staying in has two locked doors. So now in terms of travel, we're planning to take the subway the whole time. I looked into Uber, but of course it's like $40 just to get from our Airbnb to Manhattan and we're planning on traveling all over. So the cost of an unlimited Metro Pass for seven days is $33, and after doing the math, it's worth paying the $33 for that unlimited pass instead of just buying single tickets every time we go. Of course, having the unlimited pass gives us freedom as well in terms of our schedule. If we decide to do something else, we can take as many rides anywhere we want. The only hiccup is that there's a $5 AirTran fee to get from the airport down to the subway, so we're gonna be paying $20 for that in total. All right, so our travel for those two and a half days are gonna be a total of... A Next, let's talk about food. So we have our food budgeted out and we won't be eating lunches. Instead, we're gonna be bringing food and bars to eat from home in order to save money. We're gonna be eating three dinners there in which we've budgeted $60 for ourselves. We'll be eating two breakfasts, which we budgeted $10 total because we'll probably just buy a carton of eggs for those two breakfasts. And then we're bringing Pop-Tarts, strawberry, of course. Best flavor, don't at me. And then for lunch, we'll probably just be eating these snacks and maybe if we have a little extra money and we're feeling generous for ourselves, we'll buy something out and about while we're roaming around. Sadly, our Airbnb does not have a microwave for some odd reason, but they do have an oven. So I think we'll be making some frozen pizzas for dinner and that'll save us a lot of money because you can get a good frozen pizza for like three or $4. I looked it up and there's a couple markets around our Airbnb. Also on a side note, there's a YMCA next to our Airbnb and we have Y membership, so we'll probably lift there each morning we ended up not going to the YMCA because the nearest one was closed because of a murder. But I'm a little scared to play basketball there because the basketball players in Brooklyn, New York are probably better than the basketball players in Monument, Colorado. All right, but anyways, that's pretty much our budget. Let me know if you have any questions. I estimated about $175 the other day, but that wasn't including the AirTran fee, but um, I'll probably do a total later of everything we paid and let you guys know. All right, but that's it for this video. I gotta get to bed because I need to wake up early to go to New York. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. An Uber just to get to Manhattan from our hotel.